Hello, I'm Jim Brown. Beautiful Georgetown, Tasmania is home to Vince and Margie Brophy. Before they moved there, Vince and I performed a series of concerts around Victoria and at festivals. The concert was named The Anzac on the Wall, and we received acclaim, some of it quite emotional, from Australians who know we owe our diggers an enormous debt. Uh, it was fantastic. It brought home back my own great-grandfather's story of going to Gallipoli and surviving Gallipoli and then uh, dying at Pozieres and um, the stories that you know, we, we think of every April. I think it was excellent. My father was at Gallipoli on the Western Front and it's exactly as we saw it, uh, remembered as we went to the Gallipoli service in 1998. We collaborated on original and traditional war songs. Vince has had the privilege of playing the amazing Gallipoli guitar, a handmade instrument from a pine tree grown from seeds of the original lone pine at Gallipoli. An Anzac harvested these seed souvenirs and brought them home to Australia. One of the pine trees from the germinated seeds took pride of place at Melbourne's Shrine of Remembrance and playing the Gallipoli guitar made from that tree on television had an enormous impact. Haunting Anzac tribute music from a guitar with a haunting link to the Gallipoli killing fields. So don't forget me, cover the cuckoo will do. The story of Gallipoli and the sound of Gallipoli is there when that instrument is played, and to play it is such a wonderful, wonderful honour. And you can be sure of that. To true. Vince had already written a song about Margie's grandfather, Will Fraser, a World War I Anzac who served with his brother in Gallipoli and the Western Front. The song was A Hundred Aprils Ago. Young soldiers and war brides took her back in time. Will Fraser returned from the war, married his sweetheart, Anna, who faithfully waited for his return, and they had children. Margie Brophy is Will's grandchild, but Will sadly passed away before she met him. Margie's family has precious mementos of Will Fraser's service to his country. Margie found postcards Will sent from Gallipoli to Anna, and Will's leather trench coat is still in the family. Now Vince is a great singer and songwriter, and has penned this beautiful song, The Trench Coat. It's another moving tribute through Margie's eyes to Will Fraser, the Anzac grandfather she never met. I put the old trench coat on to measure its fit. The old brown leather had faded just a bit. Call me old fashioned, I don't care. I just couldn't see that coat live elsewhere. Then I threw myself into the blue king chair That came from her farm like the coat so rare I rubbed that leather upon my knee To soften its texture And bring up the sheep Had it come from the wars of the last century Fitting its owner so completely A skin, a shield from harm's way Gallipoli the Somme Did he live to say? As the sun poured rays on this coat of mine All that leather shone like something divine A treasure from home Returned to a mother Yes indeed she said He is my grandfather As I turned a page of history How easily forgotten are the memories a page that only took minutes to read 
was a life that too photos are still in our home so I hung that coat where it'd never be alone from Anzac to D-Day red poppies on grey and all in between that gave us today all the nurses in grey with splashes of red soothing the wounded praying over the dead to the trenches filled with men and barbed wire lest we forget young will under fire as I turned a page of history how easily forgotten are the memories Page that took only minutes to read was a life that took years to read. As I turned a page of history, how easily forgotten are the memories. A page that only took minutes to read. Was a life that took years to raise. Took years to raise, but it only took a minute to raise. 